Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Witcher Wednesdays, where we are starting the episode in probably the most creepy manner possible, uh, staring over uh, someone sleeping in the bed. It's Shawnee, we know her, and we are actually supposed to be in this house, so don't you worry. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, we play The Witcher on Wednesdays on the Storm Gaming Alliance channel, and oh, there's so much. All you need to know is we're hunting down some people, and this lady right here named Shawnee uh, may have some answers or ways to help us. Good, you're all caught up. Also, there's a guy named Calcstein who's looking for stones. Don't you worry about that right now. I'm over that. Anyway, Shawnee. <laughs> all right, we don't want the section. <laughs> yeah, the second option of Shawnee. We want Shawnee. I wanted to ask you something. Shani, I wanted to ask you something. We're, this is a platonic playthrough. <laughs> all right, yes, about this autopsy. Since when do you deal with stuff like that? Since I started investigating Salamandra. Mm -hmm. Okay, though, I'm no coroner. You'll have to interpret our findings. We'll meet in the evening. Until then, gather as many clues as possible. I'll sniff around. Get the body from the grave digger. That's a weird shot. In the evening. <laughs> I'll sniff around. <laughs> uh, why? In the evening? She told me we met her at the hospital in the day, saying, meet me at my house in at night. Then she says, meet me <laughs> at the hospital in the evening. Okay. Get the body from the grave digger. Well, we just met him last time, so. Information to help the autopsy. Uh, we know where he's at. And also look for books on anatomy and pathology. Farewell. Oh yeah, we know Vincent. Okay, so first we're going to talk to Vincent. I don't. Oh, okay. I'm glad the grandma wasn't going to ask me anything. Vincent is the jailer, or I think the main jailer, whatever you want to call him. So we know where he's at, but we can only talk to him. Hmm. In the morning or afternoon, I think. There's this day night cycle is driving me crazy. Anyway, um, let me pull that up on the journal so we can look specifically um, where we're at. While I'm waiting for the course, I should talk to someone who can conduct more information and read books about it. Yeah, Vincent. Um, and where is Vincent <laughs> right now? That is he, the same as cemetery. No, I want to talk to Vincent, which is Vincent's post. That's where we want to go to, but he's not there right now. So we need to find a place where we can sleep. And I'm guessing uh, Shawnee isn't one of those people. Maybe it is. What's that? I just saw green text, which means that's an important thing. And apparently not that important. Okay, uh, now we are left in a spot that we've been many, many times where there's a dog, where ain't nothing going to happen until I wait for it to happen. Literally wait for the day-night cycle. There's not a fireplace or something nearby? Nope. This is Vincent's post. This is where he'll hang out if it was a different time of day. <sighs> you know it, you love it. I'll meet you back here in the morning. It will just be a moment for you. It's going to be like five minutes for me as I find somewhere to sleep. I will see you back there momentarily. See you then. Well, welcome back. We are here. And uh, sure enough, Vincent is here as well. Um, what is you didn't miss anything. I literally sat by a campfire, ran back and forth. That's it. All right. Autopsies. Let's talk about them. What for? Punctured stomachs mean gang warfare. Torn off heads mean beasts. And black tongues mean poison. The first case, we pressure ram's meat. The second, we pass on to the order or a witcher. The third, we go to the victim's wife. The culprit 90% of the time. Autopsies are a waste of time. This guy has a lot of information. Shawnee specifically said, like, to talk to him about autopsies, so I guess that was an absolute waste of time. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Did that update the journal at all? <laughs> uh, I should talk to someone and say, okay. okay. Let's go back to the cemetery. See what the gravedigger says. Oh my word. That that was literally like five minutes of my life that I'll never be able to get back. <laughs> well, you know what? We we got his position on it, so I guess it wasn't that terrible. I mean, I'm willing to give five minutes for that. Some footmen, some guards. Ignore that on the left. That is ugh. anyway. Signboard. Eh, we could gain some information on a signboard, but I'd rather who's this? Oh, I wish. Hilligard. Zolstock. That's a sweet name. The guard. Whoa, whoa. Get back here. <gasps> oh, woe is me. Will no one help me? Why the grief? My husband haunts me. What do I do? Haunts you in your bedchamber? My late husband haunts me. What? Yeah, tell me more. Tell me more. Maybe I can help. My husband died a month since, and now haunts me in my home, wailing nightly. But the worst thing is he... I'm listening. Worst, he flies around the cemetery at night, shouting lies about me. Doubtless tongues are wagging already. Set him straight. I <laughs> you. <laughs> This husband's here. They're like, he's just flying around talking shit. <laughs> the worst kind of ghost. Like, he's not doing anything violent or anything. He's just going around like bad mouth. Dude, that's so funny. Or even, like, obviously he doesn't know the whole death do us part thing, so. <laughs> Dude, just, okay. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, sure, I... I'm kind of interested in that, but I know we're not really doing too many side quests here, but eh, that could be fun. <laughs> Some profiting off someone else's misery. Well, deal with him and I'll pay. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you just got this guy who's being obnoxious. It's not like he's doing anything bad. Where will, Where will I find you? I'm here every day at noon. Why can't I collect Why? when I want? Are you daft? My husband flies around ruining my reputation. I'll not be seen in the company of a killer. So long. Well, never mind. All right. Oh, that's cool. You know, as soon as at midnight, send the ghost to the great beyond. Okay, whatever. Gravedigger! What do you need? Uh, you seem to know a lot about Destin City. Uh, is he in the cemetery already? Could you hand over the prisoner body for an autopsy? Yeah, Could you let's just ask him. Prisoner's body for an autopsy? For a bottle of dwarven liquor. Wait, do I have some? I've been picking up all kinds of crap. Even rye. Drunk by rye. I don't think I do. Cat potion. <laughs> Can I just give you some drugs instead? So, that fish text right there. An unknown potion. I could take it and see what happens. Gosh, do I not have dwarven liquor? What is this? Wine, bottled water, peppered vodka. Um, how do I know if it's dwarven? I'm guessing none of this is. <laughs> Can I just give you some white vinegar? Hey man, this is some strong stuff. Oil, no. Okay. I'm guessing none of this. Oh, I could try the vodka. I know, like, is that something? Medium strong alcohol, so. Nothing like a good drink. Oh! Ow! Oh! About the prisoner. Where you want the body dumped? At the hospital. It'll be there by evening. Farewell. Baby, baby. All right. Nothing like a good drink. He's loaded. Can I? Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. You're not likely to tell me anything interesting. What do you need? I need to rest until uh, evening. Anyway, is he in the cemetery? No, 
you know, I think that's it. Oh, you know, we, we, we don't need anything there. Um, you know, we could talk to him about why it's shut in case we wanted to do that quest. Ah, don't get distracted. That is still locked, right? Yeah. You know what? I will ask him why it's locked. No, no, you, no, no, I won't. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. All right. So now we have to find somewhere to wait until the evening. Um, where is a quick place to do that? Ah, I, I know of the perfect place because I was just there a few minutes ago. It is uh, right down here. And over this way, there is a fireplace. Uh, Carmen. Who's that? Who's Carmen? You're Carmen? What, what makes you so special, Carmen? Care to relax a little, handsome? Oh, no. Depends. I'm open to suggestions. Let's talk. All right, we'll chat. This isn't what I wanted. Counting on more. Surprise me. We know so little about love. I don't want this. I just <laughs> so the whole thing. I was curious because she had a name compared to like just the other NPCs. Try showing me a new poet. I can tell. I don't want this. Uh, I'm no poet, but I can tell a peach when I see one. Girl, you're so good. If this conversation carries on, I'll want some of that fruit. Any unusual entertainment on offer? Eh, butcher work. Okay. It's, yeah, that's fine. She must be part of some kind of side quest here or there. That's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, this is a platonic playthrough, so um, that's all we're doing. Um, and people are like, no, do it, do it, do it. No, you can, you can find that elsewhere. Here we're doing autopsies and talking to grave diggers. It's uh, a very uplifting playthrough. Anyway, so let's make our way back. It is clearly uh, evening time, so we're going to go to the hospital. We're going to see what's going on with Shawnee and this prisoner guy. Uh, we're going to turn left, avoiding those people. Uh, well, that's pretty much all I can tell you right now. I don't know what's going to happen after that. All right. To the hospital door. That was a lot of running around for very little, I feel like. As most things in The Witcher 1 seem to be. Where is Shawnee? Oh, I do declare. We all die. <laughs> Where is she? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so tired. Professor. He said he was going to drop it off at the hospital in the evening. Oh, Wasn't Shawnee supposed to meet me here in the evening? So is, is dusk not evening? Okay. I'll be back. What's happening? Fire! Whoa! Whoa, where'd it go? Oh, dude, this is a job for a witcher. Come on, come on now. Nobody, nobody get hurt. Nobody get hurt. Come on. All of you. Oh my gosh, I'm accidentally attacking townspeople. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Attack the vampire. What the shit? Why am I attacking people? Oh, come on, man. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. No. Okay, the vampire's done, but these guys want it. Oh, no. The vampire isn't done, and I died. Okay. Anyway, Shawnee. Ready for the autopsy? Yes, I feel like I've been trying to do this for months now. Come on. All right, where are we at? Why are you walking so slow? Am I walking slow? Why can't I see nothing? Whoa, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we? Come on. Race, human. Gender, male, 
Okay. Wounds extensive. Shani, this isn't a lecture hall. Whatever you say. He died yesterday, torn to pieces. Mm hmm. A werewolf. You want to flick these wounds? Ah, bone marrow has been sucked out. The bone marrow has been sucked out. Oh. These scavengers. Very likely. Plenty around, plenty around the cemetery. So, he was torn to pieces after he died. I'm interested in the cause of death. I also see some stab wounds. A blade two fingers wide. Hmm. Something's wrong. His head is unnatural. Or position. His hands twisted. Something's wrong. His head's in a yeah. natural position. His hands twisted. The wounds can't explain that. Some kind of fit? No indication of other symptoms. Poison, maybe. But then why would someone stab him? We'll mm -hmm. find out. Let's check his internal organs. Okay. We will die. But you can do that. <laughs> okay. He wasn't killed with a weapon. What next? Uh, let's start with the lungs. As I suspected, he didn't die from stab wounds. Let's look at his heart. Let's look at the heart. The blade severed the aorta, but internal bleeding is limited. So the heart stopped Great. beating long before. Precisely. Huh. Someone stabbed a dead body. Check the liver. Completely cirrhotic. A strong poison affected the nervous system. Practically unavailable. For an alchemist? A gifted alchemist could obtain it. I need proof. Galxtein. ...cause certain changes. No, dude, I could have sworn Galxtein was innocent. Now I'm like... Uh... Look, the tongue was crudely extracted, but not Ew. all the blackened tissue was removed. Blackened? Yes, the poison caused necrosis of the tongue, so the murderer removed it. So we're certain a gifted alchemist is the murderer. Mm -hmm. A gifted alchemist... Who's a crappy surgeon? Kalkstein. He wanted to implicate the bandits, but he failed to foresee a professional autopsy. Thanks, Shani. That's the evidence I needed. Good. I'm exhausted. Okay. Kalkstein, I've been trying to collect stones for you for the last three to five weeks. And now... And now you're saying that you're a bad guy. Oh my gosh. No way. No way, dude. Okay. 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 Listen. We're going to talk to Raymond. Well, once we get it in the journal. Let's just check the journal. Suspect. Rams, we can check all this again. Tell Rams we have found proof of his innocence. Eh, might as well do that. Um... Calcine is guilty. We need to pressure him. I think I, w I don't want to do that Shawnee quest. <laughs> the rest of the school. I am not doing the cigarettes for Calcine anymore. Isn't there something I can talk to Raymond first? I feel like, yeah, I want to talk to Raymond before I go talk to Calcine. Uh, which, yeah, obviously is right over there. Um, oh my gosh, dude. It, 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 people betraying my trust. Kalkstein! I thought you were cool. <laughs> you used to be cool, man. You changed. <laughs> Kalkstein, you changed, man. All right, this dude is asleep. Not for long. Yes? Yes. We have the results. The autopsy results. And? I'm certain it was Kalkstein. How do you know? The liver was cirrhotic. The mm -hmm. stab wounds were just a clumsy attempt to hide the real reason. So, poison after all. But how can you be sure it was Kalkstein? Changes in the eyeballs. Typical of alchemical poisons. Hmm. I see you did your homework. Maybe sure did. they're framing him. Come back later. I need to analyze this information. Alright. One is later. Alright, he needs time. Uh, let's go talk to... What was this? Not Thaler, um... Rams meet at the Harry Bear and just say, "Hey, you're innocent." I I knew he was innocent. Um, it just, you know, it, it would been it would have been too obvious if he had something to do with it. 
I guess. So, um, yeah, let's. We have a little bit more time here, so I want to go over and talk to Ramsmeat. Then we're going to go talk to Kalkstein, and yeah, see what happens. There's no vampires here, right? Nope. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Open Ramsmeat's here. If he ain't. Well, then he, ain't. then he ain't. I don't know what to tell you. All right. But. Oh, no. Innkeeper, waitress. Come on, man. Is he really not here? Who's this? Monroe Braze. Dude's just asleep while people are fighting. Strong master. Waitress. Innkeeper. Coleman. <laughs> Um, how is it this hard to just find somebody in this game? Ramsmeat, where are you at? Oh, his house. <laughs> to be fair, he's always been at the Harry Bear Inn before. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. Even, I didn't even know he had a house. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we'll again just barge into somebody's private home, and uh, yeah, tell him the good news. Where's Ramsmeat? And there he is. Cool. Can I click on it from downtown? Oh yeah. No hands, baby. <laughs> baby. Looks like I have to deal with these idiots. Okay. Idiot. Are you lost? No. Who lives here? Don't I know who lives here. The question. Let me rephrase. Some nerve. This is Ramsmeat's house, and he never spoke of a visiting mutant. So scram. Dude. Looking for something? Yeah, I don't care. Yes. Go in. Why did I have to talk to that first guy? That first guy sucked. <laughs> okay, ransom me. Where are the. This is a very empty house you have, sir. Uh, all right, dude. Dude? There we go. What do you want, Wolf? Um. Want the truth about Salamandra? I'm listening. Um, wanted me to believe you led Salamandra. Someone wanted me to believe you led Salamandra. And I thought Salamandra sent you. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. They really liked me out of the saddle. They tried to poison me and sent several masked assholes out to assassinate me. But that's all too little for Uncle Ramsmeat. Uncle Ramsmeat? <laughs> you were their next attempt. I know you're fighting Salamandra. Oh. I'm hunting them too. Javed wants to take over my business. Mm -hmm. He decided to start with the girls. Know why? Though he left Zerakini long ago and mm -hmm. trained to be a mage, deep inside, he's remained a fucked up wild man. Nice. Now you get it? Not really. No. He's driven by instinct. Things with that Zerakanian cock of his. And he's got some strange fetishes. Likes fire. My girls are scared shitless. Oh, man. Scared that easily. Thanks. That helped. No problem. Remember that girl we talked to? Was it this episode? It's been so long. Um, Where the, they gave you the option of, like, do you have any unusual services or something like that? I bet you that's where it's tied into. What's downstairs? What's downstairs of Ransmeet's house? Okay, nothing. Absolutely nothing. He lives in a massive empty building. <laughs> All right. Do you think... What was her name? Carmen or something? I wonder if Carmen's still there. And if so, I would love to actually ask her that question. Um, what time of day was it? That was like evening. She was standing right there. All right. Folks, I need to sit at your campfire until evening. <laughs> I really want to talk to her right now. Was it evening? Is it mid afternoon? Mm. You know, the campfire's right here. If it's not evening, no big deal. <clears throat> All right, come on now. Uh, I haven't should, we still should we still talk to Kalkstein? Uh, Sig Siegfried's up there. Uh. Hmm, okay, so she's definitely <laughs> definitely not here. Let's uh, let's try midday. Some folks call that noon. <laughs> okay, noon. 
I'm just gonna sit here for 17 hours, apparently. Whatever. All right, come on now. There she is, Carmen. Come on, come on. So she seems to be the madam, I believe is the correct term. The leader of the brigade. There we go. Any unusual entertainment on offer? Some clients like to play dice at the same time. Interested? Maybe someday. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's play poker. No. Many girls like Many working. Like you working in Vizima? Plenty, but I'm the prettiest. Mm hmm. Nice hmm. to see you. Okay, maybe she isn't tied to that. Let's see what she says here. Any work for a witcher? Some men are troubling my girls. Take care of it and we'll compensate you generously. Okay. Um. I'll see what I can do. I mean, it's just a side quest. I don't have to do it, I guess. There are three places they frequent at night. Mark them on my map. Huh? Right, cool. Um. I always play poker with Carmen. That's probably why she has um, Village Trader. Ooh, what is all this? I need to go up there and get some potion stuff. Um, you know what? Okay, so that's not tied to it. I really, really thought it was. I wouldn't have wasted time talking to her if I didn't genuinely think that was tied together. Anyway. <laughs> that person came out of nowhere. All right, Calcine's house is right next to Vivaldi's, which is up this way, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, poor, poor boy, dwarf. Vivaldi's house. Where is Calcine's house? Right there. Okay. All right, dude. Let's do this. I probably could talk to Raymond by now, actually. Um... Let's see if the journal says that he's ready to talk. Um, he's all the way down here. Oh. Okay. Um, that's Shawnee, Calcstein. We're doing the Calcstein one right now. And the Restless Ghost. Okay, everything else is side quests. Okay, so finally we have narrowed down all of this, where's Calcstein? Probably in the basement. Um, to just one guy, I think. All of the single quests have come together. All right, Calcstein. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. I suspect you are working with Java. Actually, before that, <laughs> let me get some uh, things for you. Solution. Did he say something? I was talking shit over it. All right, I need... I need ingredients, Calcstein. There we go. I need ether. Yes. How much? I, I will take all of it. Uh, <laughs> let me buy all of these things from you. Um, and I need stuff for Thunderbolt. I honestly might just buy everything here. Because <laughs> I don't feel like looking for stuff later. Uh, hey, Dwarven Spirit. We'll take all of that. I have so much Oren's Book of Alchemy. I've already read it. Okay, great. Fifth Essence, I still don't know what that is, but it's been, this is the third game. I still don't understand what Fifth Essence is. Grease, I don't need any grease. Ether, yes, I will take that. Beyond the Ether. Um, there's one person that knows what that is. Beyond the Ether, anyway. All right, this is all the stuff. This must be very entertaining to watch me buy a bunch of alchemy things, huh? I don't know what that is. Don't want bomb stuff. Uh, okay. Is that all of it? <laughs> I just cleared that guy out. Sweet. What is this? Minerals. Probably don't care. Rays. I do care about that, I will say. Garlic. Sure, I'll take your garlic, Calcstein. I'm going to take all these books, too, and just read them at my leisure. How much... Do I have left? I don't have enough worms. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> I burned through all my money there. All right, great. That's fine. Cool. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Yeah, I know, Calcstein. All right. I just gave you all, like, all of my money. Expected you so. With Javed. You think I lead Salamandra? I'll die laughing! Hmm. I'm certain. 
You don't fool me with your scholarly guise. You're a fool, Geralt. Hey, man. You want to do this the easy way or the hard way? You offended me, Witcher. I'm so glad I bought all this stuff first. Okay, well, now what? Literally, now what? Um, I don't want to keep collecting ziggurat things. Ziggurat, sephirot things. I don't want to have to do that. Oh, do I have to? Is it just side quests now? Shawnee, we can do the working girls. Shawnee, uh, the ghost, <laughs> which sounds really cool. Or we could keep collecting these things. I don't know. Side quests or working for clearly, clearly someone who is uh, lying to us. Anyway, all of those questions will be answered in due time for now. I believe that is the end of this week's episode. Oh, man. I'm not really sure where to go from here. I'm kind of annoyed. I wish Raymond would just finish uh, his evidence and get it over with. But hey, for now, we made progress. We absolutely made progress. I think we might just go back to collecting stones, which is kind of boring, <laughs> but whatever. In fact, I'll I'll do that. I'm going to go head to the sewers right now um, so we can start right there. And in fact, I don't remember where the sewers are. But hey, that's not for some that's not something for you to worry about. Oh, there we go. Right back there. <laughs> <laughs> That's something for me to worry about. All you got to worry about is liking this video and subscribing to the Storm Gaming Alliance YouTube channel. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you like, you can check out the other videos on the channel. There's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of shows on there. And yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. And until then, keep on witchering.